Welcome to Hello Data. In this overview, we'll show you how to search for a property, create a market survey, add and remove comps, and analyze rents in granular detail. When you first log in, you'll see a dashboard with property reports that you've previously created or reports that have been shared with you. You can filter by report owner or to search for a particular report, you can use the filters at the top. There are also checkboxes for each report where you can use bulk actions like changing your email schedule for reports. If the dashboard is blank, you can click on New Report in the top right-hand corner to generate a new market survey. In the Enter the Subject search bar, you can enter in the property name or address. We recommend using the property address because we tend to reuse or recycle names in the industry. Select the one you want to analyze. After selecting the property, we will present some high-level information to show you that you're on the right deal. We'll show average rents by bed count, and we'll go down to the individual unit level, showing the full pricing history once you generate that report. Number of stories, number of units, and year built are some other high-level information details. Since we only use public data, we don't surface metrics like occupancy because we don't know units that you are not marketing and are offline for some reason. We show leased percent, which is the percentage of total units occupied or pre-leased, and exposure percent, which is the percentage of advertised units that are vacant or on notice to vacate over the next six months. Those are the numbers that we use in place of occupancy. It's a constraint of only using publicly available data, but it gives you a good sense of how the property and the comps are performing. Both leased percent and exposure percent will be surfaced based on your property website or on the internet listing services. And the biggest differentiator for us in sourcing your rent comps is our computer vision model. It analyzes all of the listing photos and determines the condition and quality of each room and common area that we observe in those photos. This helps get us properties that are similar in look and feel and condition and quality, not just year built and number of units. Now we can go to the Suggest Comps button on the right here in order to generate the top 10 most similar comps. They will be very close to the comps that you normally keep track of, but it'll cast a wider net and might include some of the comps that you haven't considered in your market. Comps are completely customizable, so if you'd like to remove the comps, you can use the red trash can icon to the right of the comp to delete it. Or you can go to the bottom and in the Rent Comp search bar, Enter in the address of the comps that you wish to add to your report. There are also arrows on the right-hand side of your comps to reorder the comps in your report for your viewing preferences. After comps are added, we'll want to make our way all the way to the bottom and check out our email preferences. You can add as many emails as you'd like to the report, and the emails will be sent on the weekly schedule indicated below with the purple check boxes. The default is set to Monday, but you can receive this email multiple times a week or use the toggle in the top of this section to turn off the email notifications. Now we're all set with setting up our report, so let's go to the top right hand corner and click Generate Report in order to save it to our dashboard. The first tab we're taken to is the Rent Comps tab. There are a few different tabs, the Rent Comps, Unit Level Insights, fees and amenities, which also will show concessions, along with the financial analysis tab. Now it's going to get a lot more detailed as we scroll through this report. At the top, you'll have global filters, which will be applied across everything in the page. You can filter by certain properties, unit type, listing status, amenities, and by calendar date. I do wanna call out that we update your report daily for you, so you won't need to create a new report week over week. We go ahead and automatically make those updates. We default to the last 30 days every time you enter into the report, but you can always make changes to the date filter in order to view a specific time frame. At the top, we also have exporting options from the drop-down arrow. You can export in Excel and PDF formats. The Excel will be an export of the raw data and will not apply filters. The PDF export will apply all global filters that have been selected. So if you have selected certain properties or unit types, it will only include those selections. 
Additionally, on the PDF export, you can select specific sections to include in your export. We default to all of the selections, but you can also uncheck any of these boxes to remove certain portions of your report. Another great option to share out reports in addition to email notifications and exporting is the share button. You can click on share and type in an email address or add several emails to share this report with members of your organization, or you can share it to clients and third parties. If you are sending out this report to a member outside of your organization, they will get an invitation to join Hello Data and create their own account. They will have view only access for 30 days to the reports that are shared. Members outside of your organization will not have editing rights unless they subscribe to a paid account, but they will notice any changes that you make inside the report with adding or removing comps. So anytime that you make updates, it will reflect across the entirety of the shared report. Before we move on to the next section, let's go to edit in the top right hand corner. This can be used to edit the year built, adjust the number of units, or adjust the stories. We can't edit things like least or exposure metrics, but you can use the pencil icon on the right in order to edit the property photo, fees, or amenities. Just be sure to click confirm in the bottom right hand corner to save, and then again we will click on save in the top right hand corner of the report. While you're viewing all of the data within your report, I do want to call out the tool tips that we provide when you hover over terms or specific data points. While we have a live chat, our goal is to be as helpful as possible when our support team is offline. So when we aren't available, you can leverage the information in the tool tips to assist you in answering any questions on how the data is calculated or what it will include. So if I use my mouse and I hover over any of these data points, It'll show me exactly how that is calculated. The similarity score again is generated from our computer vision model. And when you click on the score, you can view the ranking in each category. Hello Data calculates the average asking and effective rents and the minimum and maximum rents by the unit type using the latest advertised rents within your selected date range. You can view details for each unit type by using the drop down arrow on the left for each property. The pricing trend shows how rents have changed over the selected period, both for the property overall and by unit type. The estimated unit mix shows the number of units based on current market listings. With daily updates, it gets closer to the actual unit mix as more units become available. It also includes important metrics like exposure, lease trade out, asking an effective rent, trend spark lines, and days on the market. This gives you a clear overview of the property's unit mix and performance, helping you spot trends and opportunities for improvement. Click on the arrow next to the property name in order to view detailed unit level information. Track weekly leased units or new market listings using the drop down in the top right for the weekly market activity. This report shows units that have been leased, categorized by the unit type for both the subject property and the competitive set. Use this data to assess leasing velocity and refine your pricing strategy. In Hello Data, a lease is indicated anytime a unit is removed from the market. Clicking the number under each week in the Leased Units by Property section will show details for the units that were leased that week. Rent Comparison lets you easily compare your asking and effective rents with those of others in the market using different metrics. Use the drop-down menu on the chart to view data based on your preferences. Historical Rent Trends shows the minimum, maximum, and average rents in your market over a chosen time frame. This helps you see how your rents compare to the market. Use the filters on the right to view asking rents, effective rents, and concessions. You can quickly see if your property is trending positively or negatively. For more details, click on a specific time frame in the chart to see the units available during that period. Historical exposure is the percent of rental units that are vacant or set to vacate without a new tenant lined up projected over the next six months. It shows the potential revenue loss of these units if they remain empty. 
This metric indicates how much of the property's rentable space isn't generating income. Teacher availability in HelloData shows how many units will be available in the next six months, broken down by bedroom size. This will show what units you'll be competing against in the upcoming months. Now we'll head over to the Unit Level Insights tab. We'll have to scroll all the way back to the top and select Unit Level Insights. This snapshot displays averages for the subject property and selected comps within that date range. Use the global filters at the top to adjust the information across all the tables for more detailed insights. Filtering data within the table is made easy by the filters available in the top right-hand corner. This will allow you to filter data within the section of the report while keeping the global filters the same. Clicking the column headers allows you to adjust the data in order to be sorted from uh, ascending or descending order. Clicking on the unit number opens a pop-up with more details, including the asking and effective rent trend and any applicable concessions. Unit prices over time analyzes price trends and their correlation with new listings and lease closings per unit. Hovering over a line will display the unit number, date, and price. Quickly view top and bottom revenue generating units. The next tab we will focus on is the fees and amenities tab. We collect information on fees from property websites and listing sites to show fees charged across the comp set. At a glance, you can see if there are opportunities to increase revenue by increasing fees to be more in line with the market or decrease in order to be more competitive. Hello Data also monitors property websites and listing sites daily to capture advertised specials. Any special being offered by one of the properties included in the market survey will be listed here. This quickly allows you to analyze the use of specials and concessions and make informed strategic decisions for your property. Using AI, the number of free months offered, one-time dollars off, recurring dollars off, reduced rents, lease term conditions, deadlines, usually the date by which you have to move in to qualify for the concession, and waive fees are extracted from the banner or pop-up on the website. When Hello Data calculates effective rents, it determines which concessions were present at the time of the listing was removed from the market, and it applies any discount to the last asking rent or lease rent over the term of the lease. If the lease term is not mentioned in the special text, a 12-month lease will be assumed. Using the computer vision model, we scan the listing photos and give each room a score based on the quality and condition for finishes. From an operations perspective, this would give you an opportunity to add images or remove the images you currently have to see if they need updates. The amenity section will give you a snapshot of what is standard across your comp set versus what amenity would make you stand out and be unique. You can also use this section to compare finishes to see if you would want to use an upgrade program in order to improve some of the finishes that you offer. The last tab that we have is the financial analysis. It is Hello Data's estimate of the subject property's stabilized income and operating expenses over the next year based on the operating metrics from similar properties obtained from public data sources. We do want to call out that the real estate taxes can be very skewed, so if you have the metrics on your real estate taxes specifically, it would be best to use what you have versus what Hello Data surfaces. And that's the entirety of creating a new market survey. One other tool I want to point out is the new development button located on the left navigation panel. When using the new development feature, you are creating a custom property that only exists in your profile. It is not linked to any public website or ILSs, so any updates will need to be done manually by your team. This is typically used for properties that are in the early stages of development and only have a landing page or have not started leasing online yet. Creating this report will work in a similar format in comparison to the new report, but it'll have options to input floor plans, select amenities, or you can use the recommended button in order to automatically generate these sections after adding in the property details. 
if your property ha already has posted availability on the website, we do recommend just using the new report feature in order to see if that surfaces in our database. If it does not, you can always use the support and feedback button to send us a message and we can take a look at that for you. In touching on the support and feedback button, the last thing I want to go over today is the support and feedback button that is available to you in the bottom left hand corner. This is a live chat with our customer success team. We ask a few questions up front to better assist you, but I promise you'll always get to a human being after answering those questions. We like to assist you in real time, so if you have questions or get stuck or want to submit some feedback on what's been helpful, please send us a message and we'd be happy to chat through that with you. Thanks for joining us. We're excited for you to get started with Hello Data. And again, just contact us in the support and feedback button if you have any questions or need any help uh, while you build out those new reports.